There is an area in my reef tank that's being devastated, practically destroyed. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at that part of the reef tank, but we're also gonna do some more cleanup. In the past videos, you've seen me take care of the protein skimmer, so that way that's running well. You've also seen me clean up the frag racks that I have up here and put some coral frags into the reef tank. So I'm starting to do some cleanup, it's a little, series that I'm doing uh, to show you how I maintain the reef tank. So right now the lights are just starting to turn on in the reef aquarium. So I'm gonna take you right to that spot that's kind of getting devastated. And if you've been following the channel for a while, you know that I have bubble tip anemones and their area is right over here. And for the most part, they stick to this anemone island or their own rocks. But from time to time, they do move around and anemones can have a mind of their own. And with that being said, there's one anemone that's kind of causing a problem. Okay, so with the lights just now turning on, you can see how it's blue and purple and stuff behind me. You can't really see into the tank. And this is the part of the tank that's getting devastated back here. So to show you that, we're going to adjust the lights. Now the lights that I'm running on this 125 gallon reef tank are the HM Electronics Aquatic Life USA uh, LED fixtures are the Core X Pros. Now, if you want to pick up these LED lights for your reef aquarium, or if you just want more information about them, I'll have a link in the description below. You can check those out. But we're going to go ahead and change the light fixtures. So I'm just going to go into the HM Electronics app and I'm going to select the two light fixtures that I have. And I'm just going to take a look at my schedule. This is the lighting schedule that I have for the tank. This isn't really what the video is about, but we're just going to change the lighting and get them to a different spectrum here with a little more whites in there so we can take a look at what's going on. Okay, so we can see things a lot better now. So I'm over here on the left side of the aquarium and you can see this is where my green star polyps are. And you can see here that this bubble tip anemone has just been devastating this side of the tank. So you can see the green star polyps are flourishing right up here and they're doing really well. And then there's a bubble tip anemone. Now this guy has moved over here from the bubble tip anemones over here. Now there's still four or five bubble tips hanging out over there. Uh, but this one guy has made it his new home and this side of the tank, which is right on top of all of those green star polyps right there. Now I'm going to show a side by side or at least a flashback to what this rock used to look like. We even took a little frag. You can see that little frag back there behind those Krakatoa polyps or the Krakatoa zoanthid. But Right back there, he's just planted his foot down because there is a hole, there's a crevice in this rock work. So he's planted his foot down here, just like this guy has back here. So there's a big old hole in this rock that this anemone has planted his foot down. So this side is looking great. And for the most part, a good two years, they have kept their place right here. I've just recently started moving over here. And as they move, I'm catching them and putting them in the tank limate. So I have two of them right here. Take a look at the green star polyps. Now the really cool thing about the green star polyps is they are growing. They're still growing and pushing and thriving and they're reaching out. You can see this guy reaching out here. And the really cool thing is that these green star polyps are reaching out off of the rock work and onto the back glass of the aquarium. So you can see right there, they're starting to grow out and up. Pretty soon, I'm gonna have a back wall of green star polyps. I don't know about you, let me know in the comments below if you've ever wanted green star polyps to take up the back glass of your aquarium. I think it's gonna look pretty cool and I've always kind of liked that look. So it's exciting to see that's happening in the reef tank. Okay, so if you're still watching at this point of the video, you really are a reef fanatic and a true fan of the Coral Reef Talk. And I just wanted to share this with you. It's something that's very important to me, close to my heart, and the reason why I'm wearing this t-shirt today. This t-shirt is a part of the I Am Convicted clothing line, which is exclusive to convicted 
printing and it was created to raise awareness and help fight against human trafficking. Human trafficking is modern day slavery and it still exists in the world around us and it's happening around us to people every single day. Now the word convicted can mean different things to different people, but for survivors of human trafficking, being convicted of a felony often times comes with stigmas and disadvantages. Now the goal of convicted printing is to create jobs with a safe and accommodating work environment for those individuals that are recovering from human trafficking and the stigmas that are associated with it. So if you want to support the cause and pick up your very own t-shirt or just to find out more information about convicted printing and I am convicted, then head on over to I am convicted Dot com. You can use the discount code IAC Joey, that's I A C J O E Y. You'll receive $5 off your purchase and help be a part of the community over there. Let's change the world or die trying. So, another coral that I wanted to share with you guys today is this guy right here. It's been growing right here in the middle of the tank. This is a green Kenya tree. So it is actually growing really, really well. When I first got it, it was a lot smaller than this. I just have not decided where to put it yet. Let me know in the comments below, do you want me to put it over here with the other Kenya trees uh, so that we have some different colors going on and that it can grow over here? Or should I put it more in the middle of the tank to kind of fill up that space? Or even on the right side of the tank, we can clear out these uh, pink Kenya trees and put it right over here. Let me know where I should place that in the aquarium. One other thing that I want to do to the tank today because we've been doing a little bit of like a maintenance week and I've been sharing videos. Um, the past few videos has, has been about me cleaning things up. I'm going to clean up this area right over here by the Hyger pump. Now whenever I move the pump around there's some coralline algae that's grown up right here and the pump used to be here. I cleaned this section off and all I do is kind of scoot the pump over, clean this off and then I'll move it back. But let's go ahead and take care of this. And the best way to do that is with a flipper magnet. So I have this guy right here. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is get this flipper magnet over here and we're gonna flip it we're gonna flip it around. This is why I really love the flipper magnet. Let's see if I can do this first try. Boop. And nice. Just like that. And then I'll flip it back over to the scraper side. Uh, we'll do it like that. Flip it around. Maybe. Nope. Sometimes it does that. You gotta pull it all the way out, flip it. All right, third time's a charm. Let's do it. Caught the magnet of magnet of the Hyger. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Pull it off just like that. Nice, we did it. All right, so we got the scraper back. Reach in here, we're gonna slide that Hyger pump over just a bit. Slide that out of the way. It'll be all right for now. So the flipper does a great job at getting that Coraline algae off of the glass. Sometimes, man, you really gotta put that elbow grease into it, especially if it's built up there thick. Get rid of this and we'll move that Hyger pump back over. Maybe get over here too. Let me scoot this guy over a little bit more. Get up there, I really wanna get this out of there. Move this out of the way. There we go, now we can kind of go this way. Get some of that over there too. Come back, there we go, that was a good scrape. The little things, you know? Little pieces of maintenance that you let go for so long, like Coraline algae. Then you have a heck of a time trying to scrape it off. But things like the flipper magnet make it pretty easy. Clean some of this too. Alright, so 
so the glass is clean in the aquarium, nice clear views. It's always a great thing uh, to do some maintenance every once in a while. I mean, who would have thought? So make sure you're taking care of your tank, you're cleaning the glass, you're scraping that coralline algae. And if you're following along any of the other videos, you're keeping that protein skimmer clean, I'm sharing with you some weekly updates uh, the past few weeks. So if you wanna check out those videos, go ahead and click or tap your screen to watch one right here. Thank you so much for letting me share about IamConvicted.com. Check that out and look in the description for the link to pick up your t-shirt. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you in the next one.